I said one, two, three, four. The bitch on me, ho. She just jumping right on my meat, though. Yo, hello, it's Movicos from Editing Visuals here, and today I will show you how to make the glowing object transition. Let's begin. First thing you need to do is just find a really cool object in your video. So right here, I have a car, so I can go to like the first frame, for example, and I can cut that frame by pressing Ctrl Shift D, and I just have this frame, and what we need to do here is press Ctrl D to duplicate the layer. We need to go to the pen tool, and now we need to mask it out. We need to mask out the whole car. All right, so this is how you mask. The cutting doesn't have to be even the best. All right, I finished cutting this car out. Now we need to go back to the background right here and just close it. So it's just a car and we need to press on this button, toggle transparency grid. And now we need to go to composition, save frame as, file, go here, make this to PNG sequence and make sure your channels is RGB plus alpha. Press okay, go here. And I have made my own cutouts folder and here just type, for example, car cutout. I don't know what cutout you have. You might not even have a car cutout. And now let's press find it. Once you have rendered it, you need to press Ctrl I and go to the place where you saved it. For me, it's here, core cutout, and drag it on here. Untoggle this one, and now we can toggle this one back. And now let's cut our new core cutout PNG into just one frame. And on this PNG, we need to add deep glow or any other sort of glow, but deep glow just works the best in my opinion. And then we need to add invert. Make sure that invert is on top of the deep glow. I have just nothing right here. It's a very good transition to have when there's just darkness here. So we can press Ctrl D on the core cutout layer and for example bring it like right here this will be like five frames before the clip does even starts and we can also press another time Control d duplicate and we can put it one frame after this one and this should be pretty cool and another thing we can do is ask out another object from here i think i'll cut out heat because i would re really recommend cutting out also the person it will just make it look way cooler so let's cut out heat now i'm cutting out a person i would recommend your accuracy to be just a little better with the cutting all right i have cut out heat and what we can do now is the same thing toggle on this one go to composition save frame as file go here make it into png make sure channels are rgb plus alpha and go to our cutouts and just have it as yeet cutout it can be whatever cutout you have it doesn't have to be yeet and let's press Control i for yeet cutouts make it into one frame you can also just press m on our background layer right here and delete this mask and now we need to add deep glow once again and invert as well and add invert on top of deep glow very glowy now untoggle this one as well and just press Control d to duplicate and move it wherever you want i recommend moving it first it's the car then it would be like yeet and we can also Control d and then we can make it then it's a car and then see it and here we could just have just nothing it will also look pretty cool and then it will flip right here and you can also if you want paste this car once again so Control d and you can add it even further in the clip just to have that late flicker glow and let's just position it where the car is driving if you want to make this look even way cooler you can add another adjustment layer by pressing Control alt y and you can add effects from our editing visuals website where we have amazing editing packs which help you elevate your editing potential and one of those packs would have to be the halloween pack i recommend adding effects like halloween effect 8 really cool effect and also instantly creates a cool transition as well another one would be halloween effect 9 another one could be halloween effect 13 these are some of my favorite effects to have our website is linked in the description let's get back to the tutorial i will show you more examples of the glowing object transition here i have another example right here i cut out this window that they had and i cut out yeet's head and i placed yeet's head like way before like look there's just nothing and then the mirror and there's no mirror there actually and yeah and the mirror and then it only comes in. So it also works on not just dark clips. This is for a dark clip. As you can see, I cut out Yeet and another car. You can just do it with the glasses like I did here. And you can just keep them flickering in that clip. I also did another one with Yeet right here. Yeet, then glasses, then Yeet, then glasses. And then the actual Yeet pops up. So first you do Yeet. You can do this with any object. That's about it. All right, I hope this video was useful. If you have any questions, then please let me know. If you want, you can join our Discord server where we will be able to get back to you way faster. And you can chat with other editors there as well. And alright, have a fun and productive day. See ya.